Oh, hey friends. Um, I wanted to make a dedicated video showing you all the things that we have improved on the new infinite color panel. And if you are first watching this video without even knowing what infinite color panel is, then obviously you're going to have the most updated version. Um, now, one thing to note is that there's a lot that we updated. And if we do update anything else after making this video, I will put it in the description of this video itself. So please uh, check that out. And secondly, to note is that there's actually a lot of things to update. So if I forget anything, conversely, I will also put it in the description. So please check that out. Um, but I wanted to firstly say this image was thankfully given to us to use for this specific uh, tutorial or any tutorial for the Infinite Color uh, site. So thank you so much for that, Wayne, Denny. Um, this is Tony and Rachel's engagement. Very cool. I can't do this. And so I thought this was a fun image to look at. Okay, first of all, this on the left is a the older infinite color panel. And as you can see, it's a dark gray. It doesn't change with um, the interface. However, the new infinite color panel, if I go under preferences and interface, and I decide that I would like a, a light gray or a bright or a black, it will automatically change. So if I picked white, for example, you can see here it updates to this uh, white version, like the rest of the panel. I don't ever use that. It looks super cool. Don't get me wrong. I don't really use that a lot, though. If I do like a light gray, you can see it updates to this lighter gray and so forth. So let me just go back to or, um, let's actually use the dark one here. So you can see it upgraded to that one. So the, and also the design is different, too. You can see how the color scheme itself is a little bit more balanced as well as the the thickness of the crate button everything is much more refined um, secondly the text is very sharp it's clean it's clear the old one did not have um, completely sharp text and fonts and stuff uh, the way it's organized and designed is very methodical and and really thought about um, which i think is very important you can see the way that the names of the layers themselves are on their independent lines. It's a better use of space overall. It also now has multiple tabs. If you would like to see how to use Infinite Color, please check out our website at infinitecolorpanel.com. Now, on to the performance. On the old one, once I hit Create, you'll notice that it creates the layers, but if I hit Create again, it's going to rebuild the layers themselves. So it deletes them and recreates them. And it's actually quite slow. In, in that manner. However, if you use the old one, or the new one, I should say, um, you'll see that if I hit the Create button once, okay, and I've hit it again, it doesn't need to delete and recreate them. It actually um, just keeps them there and just resets or creates the new settings for each individual layer. So it makes the panel work a lot faster, like a lot. It's absolutely incredible. The other thing is that here, actually, let me go change the interface back really quickly to a a, um, a lighter gray. I think that looks, that looks a little bit better. OK, so now on the new one, you can control and turn on and off the layers directly through the panel. So if I go and turn these on and off, I can do that. Over here on the old one, if I hit Create, just because I turn them on and off, it won't turn them on and off. I have to actually turn them off first, then hit create again, and then it will just remove it entirely. So it's a bit of a different way of working. I prefer the new way because now I can just control the layers from the actual panel itself. And I don't have to rebuild the layers every single time. It's very active, uh, which is super, super cool. The last um part about that is i have the intensity slider here so you can see the intensity slider dictates the intensity of whatever results you're creating on the old one you had only three options light medium and intense i feel like this is a better range than what we had before they both have the shuffle options of course but uh, now we have the slider which is very intuitive the other thing is that um, now we have settings, which the old one doesn't have. It's just this one panel. The settings allows you to rename the group, allows you to add a specific group color. I can call this whatever I want, tones, I don't know. 
I can decide the group opacity, uh, the default opacity. I can say 50% if I want. Um, I can also add a group mask. I can make sure that the group itself always stays on top of your layer stack. So this is good if you're color grading and you always keep it on top. You don't have to, it doesn't matter where you run the panel from. It'll know when to keep it where. So if I go ahead and create again, what happens is it will um, automatically do whatever I want. So if I delete that and then hit create again, you'll see that it now creates tones, opacity, and uh, it, it will automatically apply it. But again, you have to clear this out first, and then when you create, it will do that for you. The old one doesn't do that for us, which is a bit of annoyance. Um, and why I should say a bit of an upgrade, not annoyance. And finally, we have, of course, uh, the black and white and harmony and tools all in one. We have harmony as a separate tab. Before we had harmonize as like one option, but now we have infinite harmony, a dedicated tab with all these options, which you can learn about on our website. Just go to the main video and you will see it. Um, talked about when all these options, it's incredible. Before harmonize was basically just, um, it picks a highlight color and then creates the three harmonies for you, just three of them, shadows, midtones, and highlights. But now I can do two, three, four colors if I want. Um, I can decide what color I want as my primary color uh, or as my shadow color first, and then it creates my highlights. Um, and I can also do different color uh, schemes, which is very handy. And but yeah, go check out that tutorial. There's a lot to cover within this video. Um, I also have the randomize option, etc., and different color balance uh, blend modes. Very, very handy. So Harmony is its own tab now, it's, and it's changed from Harmonize. Let's see what else. So we have the Tools option. Now you can save your colors. You can save and apply your colors, which is really handy. You can see I've already created one for me, and I think it actually looks really good. Um, so you can save anything that the panel generates, so you don't have to... Um, you know, use libraries anymore, and it's very handy. And um, what else? So aside from that, we also have Infinite Cloud. So now you can back up your colors too. You can also save them manually um, directly to your computer uh, or import them from someone else as well. So if somebody wants to send you their color grades, they can send you a file once they've hit backup, and then you can import that file directly. So you can easily uh, trade color grades like Pokemon cards as well. Uh, very cool. Next, we have um, no actions. So in the in Infinite Color, you can see we have these color lookup actions that you need to install. And if you don't install it, it'll say no actions or color lookup layer or, or give you some kind of message. You don't need to do that anymore. You have everything already integrated into the panel. So fortunately, that step is gone. You don't need you don't need those actions anymore for lookup as well. Um, the other thing is that on the old one, if you ran a color grade here like that, and then you decide you would like a second group on top, you can't do anything until you rename it to like look one. And then if you'd create again, then it'll create a second one, right? However, now you don't need to do that anymore because let me show you if I delete these groups really quick on the new one, if I had create once and I would like a second group, I just hold option and hit create. And then suddenly now it's going to add a second group on top. And even cooler is if I just hit create again without holding option, it's going to randomize this specific group. And if I would like to randomize this group, I just hit create on that one. It remembers. It knows specifically what group I'm on and what it's randomizing. On the old one, forget it. You cannot do that at all. <laughs> Once you hit the second one, you cannot randomize the ones below it. It will only randomize the ones that's called infinite color and nothing else. So it's very intelligent. We had a phenomenal new update, and I, I really love that. Also, we've changed our icons. So you'll know that the new one is very prominent. It has IC, and it has the colors of infinite color around the center makes it much easier to see and stand out in a uh, Photoshop setting so you can see it a lot easier. I think that's really, really nice. We've included uh, black and white and harmony and tools all in one location. Of course, black and white is still an update, 
but it's all in under one suite so you have multiple tabs it's a, a very good space saver makes it really fun to to save the space um let's see here so another thing that happens often with infinite color is that sometimes it will say something went horribly wrong or sometimes it will say there's not enough highlights to use infinite harmonies or harmonize harmonies infinite harmonize no more of those errors are there anymore so that's going to be really really handy um and aside from that i think those are the primary functions and updates we've added for infinite color so everything from working faster being able to turn on and off your layers being able to shuffle which is still the same the color scheme changing itself um the layout the ability to save your layers as well um and we've also kept the um different options from infinite black and white under the tools tab so for infinite black and white we had the um the different options here such as regions we had grain we had contrast etc and so for example um, infinite color was found under the extensions page but now it's found under the plugins page if you have photoshop cc 2021 and above if you are using photoshop cc uh, 2020 and below you will not see the tools tab and you will not see the cloud and backup and import settings you have to make sure that you are using the 2021 version of infinite color and we will have both of those options to download in your account so even if you don't have 2021 you can still get most of these updates for you on the new version so we have two new versions one being 2021 and above which is available under the plugins menu and 2020 and below which is available still under the extensions menu um so there you go if you would like to see more about that specifically please check out that video on our website and um, see all the other videos and come join our groups and all that fun stuff. I will link that all in the description, but please check out infinitecolorpanel.com and you can learn more about it. I hope you like these updates. I think they're really, really cool. And uh, I already use the new one as well. And last but not least, I think that the results I'm getting from the new infinite colors look better. We've tweaked the parameters just a little bit and um, the way it's integrated with the layers, the way they integrate with each other is a much more appealing. So yeah, again, if I forget anything, I'll lay, leave that in the description. But otherwise, I hope that gives you a good overview of what we have changed in the new Infinite Color.